Hi, Matt from Inverian here, and welcome to the tutorial on navigating RapidPath Online. In this tutorial, we will step you through the process of creating a new vehicle swept path plan. Further to this, we will also cover the main aspects of the RapidPath Online interface. Once you have logged into your account, you will first reach the Inverian Cloud platform. This is the main hub where all of your saved plans and other project related files will be stored. To learn more about the Invariant Cloud and managing your plan files, please see the link in the description below. To create a new swept path plan, just click the Create button in the menu panel. Then click New Swept Path Plan. The Rapid Path Online engine will then begin downloading so that it can initiate the application. Note that this can take a few moments when using on a device for the first time. Once loaded, you will then be taken to the application. This is the canvas area. This is how it will display when first opening a plan. To set your plan location, just use the search box here to search for your worksite. If it uses a natural keyword search, just start typing and the corresponding address locations will start to appear. Coordinate searches are also supported, which can be helpful for worksites with no physical address. To search for an address outside your reciting country, just toggle this button here. I will enter a previously copied address to demonstrate. To give your plan a title, simply click on the No Title box in the top left of the toolbar. Once clicked, you can rename your plan as required. Note that any changes made on your plan will be automatically saved, so there will be no requirement for you to save your changes. You can tell whether your changes have been saved by looking next to your plan title. Up to date means that all changes have been saved. Pending means that changes are still being saved. Wait for this to switch to up to date before closing off the plan. On the left hand side of your screen are your tools, vehicles and scratch pad palettes. On the right are the properties, history and layers palettes. Each of these palettes and their functions are described in separate videos which will be linked in the description below. The toolbar buttons here on the top right hand side allow you to turn on or off both left and right side palettes to maximise your canvas space. There is also a printing shortcut button here as well for quicker access. Printing will be covered in another tutorial which will be also linked in the description below. Coming to the top left corner we have the menu button with a number of other options. Clicking Invariant Cloud will take you back to the Cloud homepage. Print will open the printing dialog window Zoom to objects will bring you back to where the objects on your plan have been drawn. This can be quite useful if you have panned across the satellite image and need to quickly return to the plan. The reset plan option will remove the objects from your plan, including the site location, and will allow you to completely restart it. Log out and support contact shortcuts are available here also. To move around your plan, the panning shortcut is used when shifting across the canvas area. To pan, simply hold the spacebar key and move your mouse around the canvas area. If you are using a mobile device, simply tap with two fingers, hold and drag to pan across. If you have a wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out of the canvas area anytime. The tool doesn't actually need to be selected. I'll quickly place some objects on the canvas area so that we can demonstrate the selection options in Rapid Path Online. When using the Select tool, simply click or tap to select an object on the canvas area. When an object is selected, resize and rotation handles appear around the object. To resize an object, simply click or tap and hold one of the yellow resize handles and drag it out. To adjust the size of an object uniformly, just hold down the shift key and then use the resize handles. 
Similarly, the RH rotation handles will adjust the orientation of your object by simply clicking and dragging. If you want to select multiple objects on your canvas area, there's two click and drag selection options available. If you click and drag to the right, objects within the blue selection box are selected, and if you click and drag to the left, any objects touching the green selection box are selected. The selection tool also offers an easy context menu. Simply left click on an object and a number of options are available. There are cut, copy and paste buttons and also a remove button to remove certain objects. If you are using a mobile device, just tap the selected objects to view the context menu. This sums up how to navigate through Rapid Path Online. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to stay updated on new tutorials at MV